Welcome to the channel. Welcome to HBCU Kingdom. I am no in situation. Now today we're talking about a great player that went to the NFL Hall of Fame class of 2020. He also attended Southern University. We're talking about Harold Carol Michael. But first, we're in that intro. Welcome to the video, man. Today we're talking about Harold Carmichael. Now, he was drafted in the 1971 NFL Draft. Round number seven, pick 161 by the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, he played at Southern University in Louisiana for four years. He was actually a walk-on at Southern as a tri-sport athlete. Now, he used his 6'8 height, played center at basketball, and he threw javelin and discus for the track and field team. Now as a senior, he recorded, well he made all conference honors as a senior. And his teammate was Mel Blunt, another Hall of Famer that played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now just some of his accolades, man, you know. In 1989, he went into Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. 2004 he went to the Florida Sports Hall of Fame 2012 he went to the SWAC Hall of Fame 2015 he went to the Black College Football Hall of Fame and 2020 he was in the NFL Hall of Fame class so his career history man he played 12 years with the Eagles from 1971 to 1983 he played with the New York Jets in 1984. He was just on the practice squad for the New York Jets. He didn't earn a starting job. Then he was traded to the Cowboys. He played with the Cowboys for the 1984 season, which was his last season in the NFL. Now he also is a Super Bowl champion with the Philadelphia Eagles as an administrator. He was on the, um, the Eagles staff as an administrator. His career NFL stats, 590 receptions, 8,985 receiving yards, 79 touchdowns. Now, like I said, man, he got a bunch of highlights, a bunch of career highlights. You know, we just gonna go through them. NFL Man of the Year, 1980, two-time second team All-Pro, 1973-1979, four-time All-Pro, in 73, 78 through 80. NFL receiving receiving yards leader 1973. NFL reception leader 1973. NFL 1970s all decade team. Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame. Also, his number is retired for the Philadelphia Eagles. Also, he's on the Eagles 75th anniversary team. And he made all swag in 1970. So Man, a 6'8 receiver. So people talk about Random Mouse. This dude was Random Mouse before Random Mouse. You could throw it up and he gonna get it. 6'8. Man, he was a great player for the Eagles, man. Great player. I'm glad he made it to the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. A minute or so left of highlights. You guys go ahead and check it out, man. I appreciate the love. Please, man, like. Comment, subscribe to the channel, man. It's all free. Until next time, love. The two sports star began his NFL career as a tight end. Six foot eight, 219 pounds. Linebackers were getting me like I was just laundry and just shaking me and throwing me away. And uh, I'm saying, oh, get me out of this town in this tight end spot. Miscast, Carmichael was moved to wide receiver and ascended to his greatest heights as a pro. He led the league 
in 1973 in both receptions and yards. His size made him nearly unstoppable downfield, but his ability to run after the catch gave rise to the quick screen. They run it differently now. They run it with what call it the bubble screen and stuff like that. And where we ran it, I would take a step up and come back. And when I come back, the lineman was pulling out and then I would, you know, stop maneuvering. Sixty-seven catches led the league back up fullbacks are catching those these days. Unbelievable. In an era where the average offense was barely passing for 3,000 yards, and the league's leading wide receiver was catching fewer than 80 passes, Carmichael became the NFL's most reliable pass catcher. In 1979, he broke the NFL record of 105 consecutive games with a catch.